Hi and a warm good afternoon um, from our base at uh, Temple Pilots. Uh, I'm Anita and uh, in this whole world of paragliding uh, and our flying family that we have, more than the sport, we also have stories. Uh, almost every pilot who's come and been with us for some time, uh, learning, sharing, expressing, laughing, um, feeling even anxious, or maybe fearful at times, um, all have very beautiful stories. They've inspired me always. Uh, I always say all the pilots who come here are like my heroes. Every pilot is a hero. So uh, these stories have meaning. Uh, we enjoy them, we share them, and they've helped so many. Um, so we decided to share it with you. Um, these seemingly ordinary people doing extraordinary things and the story that has brought them from the ordinary to the extraordinary. So my our first guest in this series is um, Shri, Shriyansh. I call him Shri, he's a very good friend. And um, he's actually celebrating one year of starting of his having flown solo and paragliding. Yes, Shri? Yes. <laughs> Congrats. So happy about it. <laughs> so his, his one year journey, the span of him since he did his first solo in paragliding to where he is now is an amazing story. You've got to be hooked on to this. Uh, we are going to begin with a little bit about, you know, what he does, where he's from uh, and then get to the juicy part. So, uh, Shri, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, sure. First of all, I'm very happy to be the first <laughs> in your series. He's very special. And uh, basically, uh, I am from Ahmedabad and uh, uh, I started my journey one year back. Uh, back in my city, I am an entrepreneur. I have my own family business and I've been a part of that since last five years. Okay. And that's about, that's about my career. And then one fine day you decided to come and yes, learn Paradise. Yes, yes, yes. I feel I have... Uh, I have been waiting and longing to be a part of this and uh, it's been a part of the manifestation for, for as long as I can imagine. Uh, being looking forward to something that I really, really want to do and makes me happy and alive. Yes. Yes, it happened that way. And yeah. it, it happened in the most funniest way, yeah. uh, most unexpected way possible. Yeah. As it always does. As good it things, always does. Good things happen yeah. like that. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's the story in itself. So. Yeah. For another day. <laughs> For another day, definitely. <laughs> Let's it's get to flying. Fun. Yes. Um, do you remember your first solo flight? The first time you ever left very, ground? Very, very much. Very much I do. Very yeah. much I do. I mean, a pilot can never forget the first solo flight, as, yes. as you always say. And, and it was amazing. Uh, I still remember uh, coming here and then doing the ground run and then yes. doing the hops and then doing getting to the solo. But those first years came out when I did my first solo. And uh, it, it still takes a lot of me yeah. to talk about it because it just gets me so emotional. Uh, landing and just being able to realize that wow, you're actually in the air yeah. and on your own. On your own. Yeah. And and it's so rewarding the sport. In about four days, you happen to do your first solo, and it so much emotion, you know, comes on. Yes. Uh, like a wind as well. Yeah. And uh, it takes away you totally. Yeah. So I very well remember the first solo, but yes. I, I remember landing and and you shouting from there. Shri, you did your first solo <laughs> and Davisa came and gave me a high five and you gave yeah. me a really warm hug and yeah. I, I yeah. just remember it so well. Yeah, it's very special because I remember I did my first solo over 20 years back and uh, when I landed I was on my own, you know, and I remember like crying out in sheer joy and yeah. I realized that that moment is really special when you know that you've flown and then you've landed, you know. I know. So, okay. so. I'm going to quickly just, you know, fast forward to one year when you just yes. come back from Beer uh, yes. a few weeks back, literally. Yeah. Tell me about your longest flight in Beer. How, how much, how long was it and what did you do? So, I think my longest flight was about uh, 40 minutes Yes. Uh, uh, in Beer. And uh, though I say it's 40 minutes and I've done longer flights in Kamshit. But uh, those 40 minutes felt like hours yeah. because there's so much that is happening and, 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 and Beer is such a beautiful place to be flying at and it just takes you on. Um, yes. There were so many skills involved, there were so many emotions involved, there was so much of flying 
uh, yeah. involved in and being in that environment itself is a is a blessing yes uh, the big mountains the big mountains yeah yes. i mean ever since the day one that we've been you know uh, being here at the training hill and prepping for uh, you know where to go yeah what the first benchmark that we've looked to is you know the high mountains even yes. the picture that if you see here yes. you just get inspired that you know one day i will be at Taking out from the eight thousand feet mountain, being in the mountain, feeling that inner peace, and flying with the flying with the vultures, birds. Yes. Yeah, flying with those different birds. It is so so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so from being a baby having, bird yourself, oh yeah, you are now oh, yeah. in the mountains, flying with yeah, the totally. big griffin vultures themselves. Yeah. It's been a fantastic journey yeah. for you. And yeah. if we could just little bit, you know, take if you Dive can take it. us through, so. If yes, you can, you know, tell me about, let's say, in in Kamshik, your longest soaring flight, you know, for the first time yeah. after your few minutes of the first solo, yeah. and then you know how you work towards it because you yeah. did commit a lot of time and energy and you know a lot to it. You used to come to, from Ahmedabad every time, so yeah. so I want you to just cover that, and then of course cut to uh, your Bali tour. Bali part is going to be exciting. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly finish up the Kamshit part. But uh, the longest flight during my P2 and P3 course were, were probably would last around one hour, one hour fifty minutes. I remember there was one flight which was one hour twenty minutes, which was the longest soaring flight. And I and which I did. Which site was this? Uh, I think it was Golfin. Okay. Uh, one of yeah. the most special site uh, I have in my heart, and it is yeah. it is an amazing site. It's yeah. so beautiful. To see the amalgamation of three things like the air, the lake, and the land, yes. and, and it just gets you on. So P two, I did that. That was my soaring part. Yes. Uh, specifically, I would like to mention here when I when I came on, I came on with a lot of my burden and expectation, because yes. uh, in in the usual mundane life, I as a person I was, I always have been over expecting of myself and performing and. And uh, that is what that is the burden I came with yes. when I came to table yes. pilot. You would know. I the remember best. you had a checklist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like okay, this, yeah. this, this, this is what I want to yeah. do, and how soon can I do it? <laughs> how soon can I do it, and and how much I am not happy with even achieving as yes. much as I have. Yes. Um, yes. Now at a stage I am, I can say that you know I was one of the quickest pilots to learn, but still yeah. you know in those days I used to always find things that I did not. Yes. Uh, Work on or did not work out for me, uh, ignoring those things that did work out for me. Yes. So, I think I think in mid of my P two and P three, uh, with the amazing uh, input and feedback of of you and Navi sir himself, uh, I I did see a transformation in myself, not just with flying, but internally as well. And yes. that is what boosted the flying and the progress. Yes. I think I think what I've learned here is not just about flying or what I've learned with, with the sport is not just the flying. It gives you so much more. Yes. Uh, internally there's a huge shift happening that yeah. you do not even know or you're not aware a of. A transformation. A transformation, yes. right? So it happened to me so that one of my flights when, when I came back and, and probably I performed the best of mm -hmm. my flights. Probably by the end of my CC, yeah. and I'm sitting here and we're having a debrief, and I'm I'm really sulking, yeah, because because <laughs> I haven't done one uh, probably you know I did an asymmetric collapse, yeah, and I thought I could hold it for longer, but I did not hold it could for not longer, uh, yeah, and Abhisar is praising me, he's like you know everything is perfect, Ankush sir is like you've done amazing and yeah. and perfectly, and next time we can do even better collapse, yeah, yeah, and I'm like sir I did not yeah. do the collapse of Indian walker, yeah. And that is when I had my major learning when yeah. um, Avisa told me that you know yeah. when you aim to go faster, yeah. you have to go slow. Yeah. You go slow to go fast. Yeah. And that's the mantra that I've yeah. ever since then I've hold on to. Yeah. You know, building the stronger foundation. Yeah. And which has helped me at so many other places, you know. Yeah, actually I've seen it. I've seen yeah, it. I've been seen the transformation. Right? And I would say it was, you know, maybe from someone who was a little rigid earlier yes. to someone who became really flexible yeah. later, and you know, to make it a little poetic, almost like the wind, it was just flowing after so much that. Like a wind. You know, not yeah. just like creating yeah. obstacles, yeah. but actually flowing. Yeah. And uh, I think that got joy to I'm your sure. experience. Yeah. And from your flying and your learning flying, you took that to your life too. I mean, Am I right? I mean, and even in your relationships and your normal life. So much so, so to say that I did not have to actually consciously take it. 
Yeah. It beautifully came along with me, yeah. like a wind, right? Yeah. As you said. Yeah. So when I went back, back to my hometown, I could see a tremendous. This change. was sorry. That this was after your APPI two, APPI three yeah, yeah, yeah. training. Yeah. So this is right after my P yes. three, and and P post P three is when I started to, you know, see the change, and I and I did not have to see it until people came up to me and told me that you yeah. know we see a tremendous yeah. shift in you. And yeah. And relationships better for for my family, with my yeah. family, with my friends. Yeah. There was there was so much burden that I used to carry, and I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it still takes me on when I think about it. Yeah. Um, okay, take a take a second. <coughs> Friday. See you. You want some water? <laughs> no, I'm good. I thought this would happen. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're doing good. Yeah, I think it still takes on me when I think about it. I <coughs> so much has changed. Yes. And change for good, cause. Uh, But I I know because I have seen you um, <coughs> laugh. And you know, be silly and create these funny, filmy Bollywood reels. <laughs> But what I really remember is that the way you started learning the sport changed. The way you started uh, responding to instructions and training changed. And then paragliding, I think, became like an art for you, not you just something that you needed to, you know, uh, finish. And that there was such beauty to see that, yeah. Shri. And I was happy to be a witness to that. And I think. it made it you also got you also had a lot of friendships that started here yeah. and you know you've you've gained Beautiful a words. lot in terms of the flying family also right yeah it 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 did and uh, yeah the emotions will 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 drop because uh, because i learned to unlearn here yeah yeah unload yes. with these emotions and i'm still on that journey yeah so I I So the more baggage you put down yes. the more higher you fly. Yeah and 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 bottom you touch yeah. the more spring you get to kind of you know jump back yeah. up so I was flying high and and it did show in my progress. Yes. Uh I was stuck at a lot of many places and yeah. and constant mentoring and constant talking more than mentoring I would yeah. say constant sharing of that energy and that whole aura that has been yes. created around you and us sir. and yeah. other pilots and temple uh, people here and the team also the team played a major role like this in in working on my flying not just in terms of getting the technicality of it yeah. but even making me understand that it's okay to feel what you feel yeah. you know? for them to appreciate that you know i am someone who expects a lot of from myself yeah and to realize that and to kind of hold me grounded yes. uh, i think it was a huge task for yes. them <laughs> yes. because yes. they were always seeing me jumping and you know he wants to do more yeah. but they have to control you yeah. to to realize yeah. that you have to absorb yeah you have to unload that baggage to absorb internally and to absorb the flying as well and let some lightness come into the experience yeah and and no? just enjoy and be yeah. free yeah. yeah being yeah. free is so is true. what you need to be so true so now you complete your abpi 3 you finish yeah. all your tasks in calm shape and now you decide to buy a glider I did. I did add that, and Your that's also another story. Because <laughs> my dad, ever since I started flying, has not been very crazy yeah. about this activity that I've joined. Because he's yeah. been scared, and you know what all can happen. Yeah. But now he started slowly appreciating it, given that he sees a change in our relation as well. Yes. It's beautifully changed, and I'm able to be more patient that's with wonderful. my family. And this one skill I've really, really yeah. learned from flying. You know, yeah. it it is so true that flying teaches you what you need most yes. in life. Yeah. That saying is very true. And then I bought my own glider, and what better place to buy it yeah. from your own school because you feel that nostalgia. You know, they have given you. I mean, the school has given you so much, uh, and to buy your first glider from there is is yeah. just that. You know, I still yeah. remember talking to Jess. You know, it's my first glider, and when it's gonna come, and yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. I think Jess was as excited as you yeah. were. Yeah, <laughs> and we start to decide that you know which yeah. glider I want to buy, read the test certificate. Yeah. You know what I want to do, what my. Uh, You know, flying is like, and whether I want to go into acro, XC, and I'm excited, and I'm like, okay, this will yeah. be good, and this will yeah. set me up here. Yeah. So yeah, the first glider is always a yes. thrill to buy, and I'm, I think every glider would be, yes. but the first one is definitely the special one. And post that, I'm excited about my Bali trip. Yes. 
the bali trip yeah the bali the trip bali, bali trip bliss that we have so much seen in all the temple pilot yeah. beaches by the way and we are waiting you know top landing and flying over the sea and yeah. it it was just a dream to be flying in bali and yeah. to be on your own glider yeah what better than that absolutely so luckily i did get my glider in time just in time just in yeah. time because i was yeah. so not expecting it and yeah. uh, with sri lanka and all those situations happening yeah. i wasn't sure if it's going to come on time yeah. But I think just made it sure that it's on time, and yes. and I really ate up his head <laughs> yeah. to get it on them. And then we are at Bali. Yeah. And how how beautiful yes, can it be? Absolutely. Let me tell you, Bali is the trip yeah. that you have to have to be at. And uh, more than it was told to us, it was yeah. so much more. Yeah. So much more. Yeah. So uh, how much air time did you get in uh, Bali in in I remember joking about this me yeah. and me here one of my co-pilots we, we we used to crack this joke you know but just in my air time double <laughs> <laughs> and we actually did that before going to Bali let me tell you I was on about 12 hours of flying yeah. Yeah. and uh, when I finished Bali about 10 8 days of flying I'm sitting at 24 hours of flying, wow. so we actually doubled yeah. up our yeah. flying hours every yeah. day. We are flying for about one one and a half hour, yes. and uh, yeah. such a beautiful place to fly, Absolutely. such beautiful conditions. Yeah, and to Absolutely. fly with the best people, yeah, and the best uh, mentor, I would say, yes, is 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 a blessing. I feel. Yeah, and then after Bali, you decide to go to Bir to learn some yeah. tumbling, some yeah. advanced there's, courses. There's no stopping after so, uh, Bir. So, so from the coast to the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mountains is eventually where we plan, but I yeah. think Bali was a little, uh, you know, just to get to know that you know you your have reached a certain level, yes. and to get to know your new wing and to get yes. the airtime on the new wing, it 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 was yeah. really important for me to do that before doing my uh, yes. B trip. Yes. And once I was done with Bali, I really had some great confidence and yeah. uh, uh, really hit it off well in Bali. You know, yeah. we did some crazy maneuvers yes. as well, yes. which a lot of the instructors were not really sure about. But yeah. when it's Savi sir, he can take you to the <laughs> next level. Yeah. So, so we were really set for B. Yeah. And we were looking forward to do our yes. um, tumbling in a side there. Yes. So then, then I was really excited about it. And yeah. and even while going to B, uh, we were really prepping for you know how we have to plan our way because Bali yeah. is is the best place to fly. Yeah. But B is a different game. Yeah, absolutely. Flying in the Himalayas is totally a different yeah. game. And we we had a Zoom call wherein we were told these things that you know yes. what you would expect. A totally different condition. Absolutely. Uh, a totally different flying setup, and it's a game higher. It's a notch yeah. higher. So yeah, then we we enter Beer and uh, Beer has been Beer has been blessing us. I feel. Can you can you like do you remember like a moment or something oh, yes. in a flight or something that really told you whoa yeah. like it gave you sort of an insight on what your journey has been you know from where to where. So. The journey of beer or the journey of flying? While flying in beer, like just a moment or some While kind of a memory beer. or something that you know really. I think every second gave you like an aha moment, you know. Yeah, I think every first of all every second reminded yeah. me of how much effort has been put onto us and how much effort we've put yeah. to to be feeling so nostalgic in beer and not thinking about our flying because we are at that level now yeah. and and when when i took off it, my first flight right yeah. it's always the first flight yeah uh, where you have a little bit of chitter and yes, where you yes. have a little bit of nervousness because you're flying in beer yeah so it was good that the first yeah, inflation was yeah. actually so bad that i had to deflate it because <laughs> i am you in that bali it. mode yeah, you know yeah. i know it all yeah, yeah, okay yeah yeah they told me that it's different yeah. condition but i know it all yeah. i inflate yeah. and i feel no pressure because Absol bali winds are yeah, different then, and there are, winds no, are different. Yeah. there are there's no wind yeah. actually yeah. it's so light yeah. and then i go back to my classic yeah. what have you learned in school <laughs> nil wind take off yeah, yeah. take a you step back take a go step back, back to basics don't take a step back take yeah. three steps back <laughs> and you know you will perform well yeah, yeah, so yeah. we take three steps back I take off. I take off. I'm in middle of the valley. You know, there's plus one here. There's house yeah. tumble here. Yeah. Middle of the valley. The first thing I do is hands are flying. I just leave my hands. Yeah. And I flap my wings like a bird. And oh wow. And I have tears in my eyes that time yeah. itself. And I'm just scanning through the horizon, and I'm able yeah. to see this beautiful valley, the beautiful village, yeah. and the beautiful sky. Yeah. And the height that I am, I think it was heaven. Yes. It was really heaven because. You're literally touching yeah. clouds, aren't you? 
you are passing through absolutely them. absolutely you are passing yes. through the crowd yeah. and literally what an experience so cannot be defined from first the, solo to flying through clouds oh yeah <laughs> from the camshaft 175 feet to yes. taken off at 8000 feet model second highest take off in the world and yes. you have those jitters right yeah. but as soon as you enter the valley i think the whole aura takes on to you and mm-hmm. And you feel it's heaven. It's actually yeah. feels like heaven. Absolutely. And you see those griffin boys just, you know, waving at you and saying that, <laughs> "Welcome, buddy. Welcome yeah. to the sky." And <laughs> wow. So beautiful. I think it's truly been like a journey of transformation. It's been a journey. And I, uh, I congratulate you for you know owning it and embracing it and letting the sport and Mother Nature teach you all it has. It has. And I think um, I'm very proud of you. All of us are. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad. And, uh, <laughs> and um, we're we're very honored that you're a part of our flying family. Yeah. And I'm sure that you will sort of inspire a lot of the new club pilots that are joining us in the same way. So bringing you one year of Sri's journey yes. from first solo to Beer, the high big big high mountains. Big high mountains. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.